The Republican frontrunner for a U.S. Senate seat in Alabama is engulfed in a sexual scandal tonight, one month before a special election. The Washington Post reports that Judge Roy Moore had sexual contact, contact with a 14-year-old girl when he was in his early 30s. Three other women say that Moore also approached them when they were teens. Moore is now 70. His campaign called the claims outlandish attacks, but top Republicans took a dim view, including Alabama's current U.S. Senators Richard Shelby and Luther Strange, who lost to Moore in the Republican primary this fall. They've just come to light and I've just read about them. It's very, very disturbing what I've read about. It's a devastating, nasty story. Uh, if the revelations, if that's true, I don't believe there'd be any place for him in the U.S. Senate. The Senate's top Republican, Mitch McConnell, also weighed in with a statement saying simply, if these allegations are true, he must step aside. I spoke a short time ago to one of the reporters who broke the story, Beth Reinhardt of The Washington Post, as well as to Don Daly, who covers politics for Alabama Public Television. We began with how the allegations first surfaced. So The Post was in Alabama reporting um, an unrelated story and heard that Roy Moore had um, pursued young uh, girls when he was first a prosecutor. And um, another reporter and I spent weeks in Alabama chasing these leads and reaching out to a lot of people. Um, and uh, when we did reach the women who are quoted in the story today, uh, none of them initially were willing to speak on the record. They were all very reluctant to um, share their story publicly, and it was only after multiple interviews with them that they decided to come forward. Well, let me ask you first, uh, Beth Reinhardt, about the woman who was youngest, I guess, of all these when this happened. She was 14 years old at a time when Roy Moore was an assistant district attorney. He was in his early 30s. And what does she say happened? So she was at the courthouse with her mom for a child custody hearing. And Roy came up and introduced himself and offered to watch her while her mother went into the courtroom. Um, he got her phone number. He called her. He picked her up a few days later around the corner from her house and uh, took her to his house, which is in a, a woodsy area about 30 minutes away, um, gave her alcohol, and then on, on one occasion um, undressed himself, undressed her and um, touched her over her bra and underwear and um, had her touch him. And you report that she told a friend at the time this happened, and then she told her mother years later. She told a couple friends at the time, and they were, um, you know, reacted sort of negatively, like, that's not a good idea. And so she felt ashamed about it. She felt responsible about it. She. She just sat with it for many years. She told her mom um, when she was an adult, and then even then, you know, thought about coming forward, but um, but didn't. She had kids that she was worried about, um, and uh, it, it just it really took a lot of time for her to, to feel comfortable with her decision. And Beth, just quickly, the other three women allege what. So they were a little bit older. They were between the ages of 16 and 18, and they say that Roy asked them out on dates, and two of the three did go out with him. Um, they say he did not force himself on them, but looking back, they realized that it was really inappropriate for him and a man in his 30s to be asking out teenage girls that he met at the mall or, in one case, at a, at a high school civics class where he was speaking to her class. Don Daly, what is Roy Moore saying about all this? Roy Moore issued a statement today in which he staunchly denied these allegations. He called them the result of uh, fake news, and he said they were designed to uh, attack him politically. Uh, Roy Moore has been at odds with uh, The Washington Post uh, for a month or so now. He's been upset about a previous uh, news story concerning his charitable organization, the Foundation for Moral Law, and The Post's reporting on that. And that, on top of these new allegations, has led him to believe that this latest piece is a uh, hit piece, but again, he has staunchly denied these allegations. And Don, what is Alabama, what does Alabama law say about uh, relations, sexual relations with a minor? 
Uh, we've been talking this afternoon with uh, various officials about uh, uh, what this might mean. A lot of people are still saying that uh, they're looking into the consequences of uh, these allegations and the statute of limitations, uh, those sorts of things. And another aspect of the law that's been debated here in Alabama this afternoon is could Roy Moore's name possibly be removed from the ballot if it came that far? And uh, the Secretary of State has said this afternoon that uh, state law says it has to be under 76 days from the election before you can remove a name from the ballot. So the Secretary of State here in Alabama said it is too late to remove Roy Moore's name should it come to that. Don Daly, how how are others in Alabama reacting to this? And, and, and were there any indications of this before this story? There were not any indications of this. Uh, I think a lot of people were caught by surprise here in Alabama. Some of Roy Moore's defenders have actually raised the contention, why didn't this come out a long time ago? Why is it now just surfacing? Because Roy Moore has been such a public figure here in Alabama for so long. Why is it just coming out now? But a lot of people are surprised. A lot of people are reacting rather guardedly, saying if these allegations prove to be true that Roy Moore should step down as a candidate, others are starting defending him, especially his base. Roy Moore enjoys uh, a staunch uh, base of supporters uh, here in Alabama, Republicans, conservatives, evangelical Christians, who have stood by him through thick and thin through a lot of controversies that he has weathered here in Alabama over the years. Right. Beth Reinhard, uh, is it fair to say The Post is still reporting on this, continuing to report on this? Uh, sure. I mean, we'll obviously be keeping an eye on, on Roy Moore as a candidate through Election Day and, and beyond that if he's elected a senator. And, and right now, Don Daly, what, is, what are the polls showing? I mean, the, that, that Roy Moore is ahead uh, by how much? Uh, the latest polls have him up by double digits, and he has maintained that sort of lead uh, for the last several weeks since the Republican runoff election uh, here in Alabama. A lot of people are waiting with bated breath now to see what kind of impact these allegations might have on his poll numbers. But again, his base of support here has been very strong, and those who support him most don't think that it will have a significant impact because they don't believe the allegations. And Don, no hint that he's prepared to, to step down, uh, back off from running, right? He has made no indication so far that he plans to step down. Don Daly with Alabama Public Television, Beth Reinhardt with The Washington Post. Thank you both. Thanks. Thank you.